Do you want your game to not only look nice, but also get more visits? Well, you need to design a beautiful, eye-catching, and functional UI. Yo, what's good, y'all? So today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to design your own UI from scratch and how to import it into Roblox Studio and make it functional. All you're gonna need for this is either Photoshop or if you don't have Photoshop, you can use the free website called Photopia and Roblox Studio. And yes, it's pretty easy, so let's get it. All right, so if this is your first time designing a UI or you just don't have a clear idea yet, I would recommend going and playing a couple of your favorite Roblox games and look at all their UIs. You can see that some just generally look better and some are actually more detailed. By looking at all these different UIs, this will give you inspiration and help you develop an idea of what you want yours to look like. I wouldn't recommend copying any UIs you see exactly because not only are you copying another person's UIs, but you also want to develop one that's really specific to your game and it's unique, you know? You want people to actually see that you have a unique, good looking UI. So yeah, develop an idea, gain some inspiration, and then we're gonna start designing. All right, so once you open a new file in Photoshop, or if you don't have Photoshop, you can use Photopea, the link is in the description. But once you open a new file, think to yourself, what do I actually need for my game? Do I need a button for my menu? Do I need a button for my store, inventory, settings? You want to think about all these stuff and make a list in your head so when you actually start designing, you won't miss anything and you won't make something that you don't even need for your UI. Alright, so the basic tools you're going to need when designing a UI if you're not trying to get too advanced is these two tools. This tool allows you to make different rectangles and squares and this tool allows you to make like oval, circles, stuff like that. Um, let's say you actually want to make a square a rectangle, but you want it to be like a perfect square or a perfect circle and the dimensions are even. You're going to, when you start actually dragging it out, click shift and it'll hold it together so it comes out even. All right, so once you finish designing your buttons and menu or whatever you're trying to make, we're now gonna go get some free text to use to actually label the buttons and menu. All right, so head over to this website called thefont.com. This is a website where you can find text and fonts that are 100% free, so you can use them for whatever you want. Um, yeah, so as you can see, there are a bunch of different categories you can choose from. For this video, I just chose cartoon and make sure this setting is on. So you're gonna click more options and just make sure 100% free is on. Then you can click submit and it'll show you all the free options you could choose from. So once you find one you like, literally just go to the side, click download. It should download a zip file like this one. And once you open it, you should see all these different stuff. The only thing you're really gonna need is are these two. So just double click it and I'll open it and then just click install. Once you click install, it should pop up in your Photoshop and uh, your photo peel when you're actually about to use it to um, make the labels for the buttons. All right, so once you finish downloading your text, you can now go in Photoshop, click the little T right here so we can make a text label and just click. So here, just name it whatever you want. So for now, let's just do a shop button. Um, Highlight it and go to the side right here and just scroll down until you find the one that you downloaded. So mine is called Plant Something or Planet, Planet Comic. There we go. Now you can just take this, put it on the button, and obviously you're going to want to change the color. So highlight it again. Um, bring this up here. Actually, no. Just click this red and make it darker. Yeah, I like this. This is not bad. So now that we finished this button, just design all the other ones and yeah.
All right, so after you've applied the font to all your buttons and menus, now we're actually gonna export this from Photoshop and import it into Roblox Studio. So to start this off, I recommend organizing all your buttons and menus. Uh, we're gonna hide all the ones we're not exporting first. So the one I'm gonna do first is the menu. So just hide all the other ones. And we're gonna take this menu and enlarge it so it can fill up pretty much the whole square. And yeah, since it's a little bigger, you might wanna make the border a little thicker. So I'm gonna actually do that. And let me see, I'll probably put it at 20. Yeah, this is good. So now we're gonna press file up here, export, export as. And once you export, just save it somewhere. And yeah, after we do that, we're gonna actually import it into Roblox Studio. All right, now that we're in Roblox Studio, we're gonna import everything we just made in Photoshop. So go to the right side, you can click Starter GUI, then add a Screen GUI, and from Screen GUI, you're gonna add a Image button. Now, you can see the Image button on the top left corner. You could drag it wherever you want. I'm gonna put it on the side of the screen. So now in the properties of your Image button, scroll down to Image, and this is where you can actually choose the file off your computer of what you downloaded from Photoshop. I already have it here, so I'm just going to click it. And to get rid of the background, uh, you scroll up and you go to Background Transparency and set it to 1. Now you can scale it. To keep its original dimensions, you hold Shift while you sc uh, scale it out. Obviously, I don't want it that big, but this is good for now. Now we're going to do the actual shop menu. So press Screen GUI again. Now go to Image Label and you could drag this in the middle for the menu. And it's the same process. Go down to images, you go down to image I should say, and properties, select the menu, and change the background. Where is it? Oh, right here. Change the background, set it to one. And now we scale it out with shift, make it bigger. And yeah, now it's good. All right, so to add some functionality to the button and screen, we're gonna add a local script to the shop button over here. And what the script is gonna do is it's gonna allow me to press this button to open and close this screen. So um, just follow along as I type the script and copy it pretty exact. What you're gonna see is that um, my name of my button and screen are gonna match inside my code. Make sure they match exactly or else the script will not work. All right, once you have your script typed out, just make sure that this right here matches directly with what you named your screen as. And yeah, everything should be working. Click play, and yeah, so the menu isn't popped up, but once you click the button, yeah, it pops up. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how to make a basic UI. It'll make your game look a little better depending on how detailed you get with the actual UI in um, Photoshop. I'll be making another video soon on a UI I designed for my actual game. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see y'all later.